This week's show is all about farming, but I'm not really interested in breeding sheep or planting crops. This farm produces another really vital resource. Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged. Well, I'm here at Rookery Farm in Worcestershire, and just last year they installed this wind turbine. So, Chris, we're on your farm at the moment, and we're in Worcestershire, aren't we? We're in Worcestershire, Worcestershire yeah, and, yeah. and you have got the most spectacular views and a lot of wind because you're very high up. Well, yep. And you've got that, which is amazing. Yes. So yep. how long have you had it? We've had the turbine now um, nine months. Right. Um, yep, and it's going very, very well. And, it, and so roughly what, how much electricity does it produce? I mean, when it's going like this When now, it's going like this, it will produce something like 200 kilowatt hours a day. Right. Um, we'd like to think an average of a thousand a week. Right. Is what we look for. Right. And um, yeah, yeah, on, on the right day, it's and fantastic. I mean, the, the average, to put that in perspective, the average house, apparently, the, the official figures are between 15 and 20 kilowatt hours a day. So yes, it's a yes. lot more than a house uses. Oh, yes, it's yes, a much lot more. Of electricity. Much more, right. yeah. So you're running, so when it's running like this, is it producing enough power for the whole farm and the houses? Yes, yes, right. yes, 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 and and uh, a bit of surplus then. Right. But what I like about it is that when it's running through the night, it's producing electricity. Yeah. Uh, you know, basically for twenty four hours. Yes. Yeah. That's what's good about yeah. it. Um, but it's uh, my passion is the fact that it's clean. Yeah. That it's natural energy. Yeah. That's what I like about it. Yeah. Because you're not, yes, you're not burning anything to produce it. No, no, nothing not, at all. You don't have to mine anything or drill anything out the ground. No, nothing at all. No, nothing at all. No, no, no. It's it's sophistry. Right. That's the important yeah. thing. Yeah. And I mean, so you can sell the excess power to the national grid then. Yes. Right? So it's pl it's basically plumbed into the grid. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Now the other yes. thing I was wondering about is that, that wind turbines have caused a lot of distress amongst various rural communities you know people who, who are going to have wind farms outside their houses get upset and they say, well, we don't want to. I'm just wondering what your neighbours thought of you when you put this up because you're in a very it's, it's quite notable I saw it from a long way away I mean obviously you see way down there you can see it from quite a long way away have you had any yeah. well we are in an area of outstanding natural beauty yeah. so um, the getting permission for the turbine wasn't easy no we went to appeal we went to planning and then we went to appeal and we did upset some of the neighbors it was <laughs> unintentional yeah. um and there were some very much in favor of it right. there were 50 percent for it 50 percent against right. it right um and at the end of the day i was passionate the last thing i wanted to do was to upset anyone yeah um but i was passionate that i felt it was the right thing for my children's future and my grandchildren's future yeah. and so we carried on with it right and since it's been up then have you had have the has any has anybody changed their opinion any of your neighbors that, that overlook it or can see it have they said oh it's I all haven't, right or... i haven't fallen out with my neighbors right. <laughs> they're, they're not like throwing that. rocks at you when you drive past no 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 well we all we all do things i mean we put farm buildings up and yeah. and, and, and everyone uh, does things that upset some people yeah. But at the end of the day, we live on the planet together. I'm yeah. sure that we can uh, sort of get by. Yeah. Everything was above board and, and um, you know, planning permissions and right. everything were as they should be. Right. But I'm very much in favour uh, of what we've done. Yeah. So I wouldn't go back on it. Right, brilliant. So it's, so from your point of view, it's worked out. It's been very much. positive thing. Because presumably it's going to take quite a while to pay itself off in that sense. Because presumably it, your power bills have gone down because you're not having to pay yes, for electricity. Yes, yes, right? yes. And the feed-in tariff is obviously uh, uh, very good. You know, yeah. we've got a 30-year contract on the feed-in tariff. Right. Um, but um, I think it's going to take something like five to six years Right. to pay it back which actually isn't that it is not it's no. not it's nothing really there's nowhere there's nowhere you could invest to give you the return that this yeah. is giving you but that wasn't it it's the greenness it's the clean energy yeah. that that was the main yeah. thing as far as i'm concerned because presumably a farm the, the scale of yours you, your electricity bills would have been quite oh, high excessive. I mean, you use a excessive. lot of you use a lot of power with what is it yeah. for? I mean, running the machinery. And well, everything. There's, everything on a farm. You know, you use a lot of power on yeah. on uh, on a lot of things. We probably spend somewhere in the region of about five, six thousand pounds a year on electricity. Oh, right. And so it's going to be a, a enormous saving as far yeah. as that goes. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's. I mean, over a year, then you're producing t basically tens of thousands of pounds worth of electricity. You're getting on for. No, uh, we would probably. 
produce something like uh, 30,000 kilowatt hours. Right. Which would Jeez, give us 15,000 pounds, right. something like right. that. Right. So with a with a 5,000 pounds electricity bill, yeah. 15,000 pounds is a lot. Yes. Um, mm. And the, the cost of the machine at the time the cost of the turbine at the time was about 60000 Right, that's what it cost totally. to put it in there. Right, yeah. put it in and wire it and everything. Yeah. So, you see, that sort of return is excellent. Yes. But ten to £15,000 a year is yeah. like 25% of the co- initial yeah. cost. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's... it's it makes it's a lot good. of sense. I mean, it, it makes, makes a, lot a, lot a lot of sense for a lot of farmers to do. I mean, I'm sure not all farms are going to be suitable because of where the, their position, yeah. but yeah. generally speaking... Every farm I've ever been on or worked on has been quite windy. Well, <laughs> yes, well, yes, yes, know, yes, yes, yes. This, it, our island is very windy, basically, yeah. isn't it? And, and I think that if there were more small turbines dotted about, yeah. it, it wouldn't be as bad yes. as putting big the wind really farms. Big ones, yeah. You know, you could put a thousand of these little ones dotted around yeah. the country. They wouldn't show up half as much as a wind farm. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's my opinion. Yeah. We had a trip round Scotland at the end of last year, and there were a lot of these. I think this particular company has put about 300 right. so far this, into this Scotland. Of this scale. Yeah. Right. And, and they're everywhere. Right. But once you've seen one, you don't notice the yeah. rest. Yeah. You, know. yeah. you, you, you get used to them. Yeah. When it first went up, I thought, God, it's bigger than I thought it was going to right. be. Right, was it? Yeah. But since then, we really don't notice yeah. it. We don't look for it. And actually, I mean, I can hear it from yes. here, but yeah. you know, it's not yeah. very. Not it's, really. no, it's no noisier than the wind blowing through the barns. No, really, no, no. no. And on a normal day, you wouldn't have any noise at all. It's only on yeah. these very windy days yeah. that it makes some noise. Yeah. But on a normal yeah. day, there's, it, it really... It so it's still turning, but it's not. Yes. It's just yes. not still producing. Yeah. It wouldn't make just as much, but there's no noise at all. It's yeah. when it hits these sort of gusts Gusty of wind, today, that's, yeah. that's when you get the noise. Yeah. 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 Do you want to look at the switch gear or whatever? Oh, you've got, you got yeah. Is there, yeah. Is there yeah. something we can see? So can you see... So that's your total since you... Yeah, since total. we put it in, which is about 15,000. All right, when you consider... It's producing at the moment, it's a 15 kilowatt machine. Right. But it's producing, well, 14, 13, but it was on 17 in that gale, you right. see. But you see, it goes up and down yeah, as the wind the changes. Yeah. So that's that then is converted into kilowatt hours, which go back into the grid. Right. Um, and that's it, really. Fantastic. It's back up to 14 again now, you yeah. see. 15 and up, so as that, 16, you know, 16, together. but it's only a 15 kilowatt machine. Right, oh, that's what, so it, it's so meant it produces to, more than, right. it produces more than it's meant to. it's meant to, to. Right. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Wow. Yeah, and so the idea is, you see, it comes in wherever it comes in from here, I suppose. Right, yeah. And it's then, perfect, and yeah. then it goes off out into the grid. Right. And then the meter, when it's going well, turns backwards. Right. <laughs> Oh, does it? Does it actually go yes. your your meter in your yes. house? Is that? Is that right? <laughs> well, the meter here. Yeah, yeah. right. Well, yeah. everything fresh from it. It's lovely when the meter goes. Yeah, backwards. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, but I mean, just to, yes. I mean, the thing is that to install this in a, a house is quite a big imposition. Oh, yes. But on a farm, yes. I mean, it's nothing. Yes. It's just oh, doesn't it, take up any space oh, at all, does it? It's well, fine. there's loads of gear like this kicking about on a farm. Yeah. But no, it doesn't take up any space at all, really. Yeah. And um, it's quite sophisticated. Right. But this is on a three-phase supply. Right, so that's the right. So you need to be on a three-phase supply. Right. Oh, so you need a three-phase three supply coming into the property to, yes, to be yes, able to but pump for, it back for out. these yeah. machines. Right. But you can get smaller machines yeah. that, that obviously would feed a, a single phase. We've had that many people now, farmers and friends, who come, that, and, who, who come and see it and right. ring me up and say, how did you get there? What did you yeah. do? You know. Um, I'm sure. I mean, it makes so much sense to do it. Oh, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah. Especially on a farm, because when you see a group of farm buildings, this is what the person that took the appeal said. Right. Is that in amongst a group of farm buildings, yeah. it really isn't intrusive. No. If it's out on its own next to an individual house or yes. something, you yeah. might notice it. Might it. But, yeah. but in this in this environment, it really yeah. doesn't stand no. out. No. So, um, fantastic. Yeah. Because yeah. I've got solar panels on my roof, and I produce, today, now, I'll be yeah. producing... Ooh, 2.8 kilowatts. Yeah, yeah, but that's not bad. It's not bad. No, that's Again, it's not, not bad. bad. I mean, that's made a big difference to us. We've done we've done 2,000 kilowatt hours so far. Right. We had them since uh, end of May last year. Yeah, but that's not so bad. So still 2,000 kilowatt hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool. 2,000 kilowatt hours would be 600 quid. Yeah. 
Yeah. Or more. Yes. Because I think you get more yeah. than we do with the solar. Yeah, well, I think we get and 42 quid. You get 40 LP, yeah. yeah. so you'll yeah, yeah. be 800 quid. Yeah. Probably do your electricity. Yeah. But this at the moment, I still think that you could, if, if you weren't able to find the money to fund it, you could still borrow the money and it yeah. would still be a proposition. Yes. To borrow the money to, to build it. Yeah would still work out yeah you know we paid for it rather than uh, th th there are grants and everything available right but if you actually buy the machine yourself then you yeah. get the full feed-in tariff yes. yeah and so we looked at it as a long-term investment yeah. yeah that was the thing fantastic so, uh, yeah yeah Brilliant. yeah so well, i hope more people do it yeah i'm really glad you did i'm very very <laughs> i'm very proud that i live near it oh, right. <laughs>